What's going on guys, Mr. Clasher here. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. In today's video, guys, I'll be talking about the biggest Clash of Clans update, I think, in history. This update is so huge for a lot of players, and even though players like myself, Town Hall 11 players, and Town Hall 10, and a little bit of Town Hall 9 players will be getting the most out of this update, I still think this whole new update that's going to be coming out that now, I do not know the exact date for the update, it never set in the article of Clash of Clans, but I think it's going to be coming either in October, late October, or it's going to be coming out maybe in November, or even by December, we're not sure yet, because there's a lot of new, brand new things that are going to be coming into Clash of Clans, and that are amazing, so the very first thing is new level 7 wizards, it's going to be amazing, so the wizard level 6 hit points and damage slightly increased, and the wizard level 6 available at Town Hall 9, it used to be level Town Hall 10 that you could get a level 6 wizard, but now it's going to be Town Hall 9, so it's going to be Pretty nice for players Town Hall 9 and 10 getting uh, level 6 Wizards and Town Hall 11, um, actually Town Hall 10 getting Wizard level 7. So the 9 get the 6 and the 10 and 11 get the level 7 Wizard. That's going to be super, super fun because I love using Wizards such as the Giants, Valix, and Wizard Army. That is a deadly combo and I'm definitely going to be upgrading my Wizards to level 7. So the very next thing is the Hidden Tesla is going to be now level 9 for Town Hall 11s only. But also, the two times damage to P.E.K.K.A.S. has been removed. So, the P.E.K.K.A.S. are going to be a little bit stronger now. And maybe, just maybe, we might see a slight increase in the P.E.K.K.A.S. use inside the game. I mean, the last time I've seen somebody like a Town Hall 9, 10, or 11 get attacked by P.E.K.K.A.S. was probably a long time ago. People don't attack with P.E.K.K.A.S. anymore. They don't attack in Clan Wars, regular battles. P.E.K.K.A.S. are not like a troop, like a farming troop, or really it's just basically a troop just to have fun so i think removing the twice damage to the teslas is going to be interesting to see how it plays out and again the level 9 tesla will be only for town hall 11 the next thing is we have is the new baby dragon level 5 it's going to be only for town hall 11 but the baby dragon level 4 available at town hall 10 and it used to be town hall 11 so town hall 10s now get level 4 baby dragons which is going to be nice because of players who do like baby dragons and do like carrying them in the armies Having a level 4 baby dragon as a Town Hall 10 is going to be really, really nice. And I think a lot of Town Hall 10 players would appreciate that. So the next thing we got is a new mortar level, which is level 10. This is for only Town Hall 11. And the mortar levels from 8 to 9, their damage has been increased. Basically, why they did that is because mortar isn't really a strong defensive troop compared to the cannons, the archer towers, even the teslas. So I think the Mortar needed a buff for sure to balance out ground armies because the Mortar right now is not that strong. So I think an extra boost at level 8 and 9 for the damage is definitely going to play out. So the next thing is very, very interesting. So the Skeleton spells sponge much more than Skeletons but over a longer period of time. And just a fact guys... The skeleton spell is going to spawn 26 skeletons. And yes, guys, I'm going to repeat that. 26 skeletons over a period of time. Now, it's going to be slower, but there's going to be more skeletons spawning. And 26 skeletons is a lot. Like, I think of Clash Royale, how the, um, I think the skeleton army, I don't know how many it has, like 15, 16, 18, 7 or 9 range. But having 26 skeletons is going to be massive. And it's going to be interesting how players use the skeleton spell once it actually plays into the game and once the update comes out. So that is pretty sweet. The next thing is clone troops from a clone spell can stay much longer on the battlefield. So personally, I haven't really used the clone spell too much. I do have the clone spell, um, but now the troops are going to last longer that are cloned by the clone spell, which means um, there's going to be more troops on the battleground and they're going to last longer, which is a really good thing. And people, players who do like clone spell and maybe use two clone spells in a battle are definitely going to like this feature. So the next thing is bowler hit points slightly decreased. I knew this was going to be coming because the bowler walk or the healer kind of bowler, uh, mass bowler strategy is just overpowered. Town Hall 10s and especially 11s are getting just destroyed by bowlers, healers, and archer queens. So I think decreasing the bowler's hit points is a good trade-off. It's going to make them more balanced so players are not just three-starring completely. I think it's going to be a pretty good balance. So some other new Town Hall 11 upgrades, you get level 6 dragons, which is pretty dang sweet. I mean, that's going to be super dope. The next thing we're going to be getting is Expo level 5, and that's pretty interesting because level 4 Expos are pretty good. I do like the current Expos, but we are going to be getting a buff as Town Hall 11s 
and the next thing is 25 additional wall pieces so um, I'm not sure what I'm going to use the extra 25 walls exactly for because my base is perfect right now. All my bases have, you know, a perfect amount of walls, but we're going to see how many, you know, walls we can fit and how many compartments extra we can build. Um, so it's going to be interesting how it plays out. Now, there's some upgrade discounts, time and or cost. Level 6 wizard, dragons 3 to 5, baby dragons, all levels, cannons 12 through 13, archer towers 11 through 13, mortars level 8, 9, Wizard Tower 7, 8, Hidden Tesla level 5 eight, through 8, and Expo level 2 through 4. And there's going to be a lot more Clan War balancing, so I'll read a couple of things here. So, earn a partial War Win bonus even when failing an attack. And also, War Win bonuses is no longer reduced when attacking lower Town Hall levels. And tougher targets in War are worth more Clan XP to a max of 10 XP if you attack a higher Clan member. So guys, that is a lot of information I just told you guys about the new upcoming update. Now again, I'm not exactly sure of the date of the update because it's going to be a pretty massive update and they have to play everything out perfectly, still balance everything out. But this has to be one of the biggest balance changes inside Clash of Clans. I mean, this is just a huge update. We're going to be getting a lot more... Um, Balancing things such as new levels for defenses, new levels for troops, um, and just very few, I mean not very few, but very, I guess, how do I say it, just very interesting facts we're going to be getting here and interesting things. Um, honestly, I never knew this Clash of Clans update would be coming out this massively. I thought there would be a really good one and Clash Royale, I mean Clash of Clans slash Supercell, they held their you know fingers and they just brought it to us like this update is just going to be so sweet and i just really think that um you know we've been waiting patiently for this update and i think players are now finally coming and joining together playing more often in the game and i think it's gonna revolutionize clash of clans as a game so anyway i really hope you guys did enjoy the video if you, if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button and also in the comment section below Tell me what you guys think about the new update that's going to be coming out maybe next month or in two months. But anyway, if we could smash maybe 50, 70 likes for this video, that would really make my day. And as always, I'll see you all on the next video.